Good morning, grade nine. Uh, today we're going to talk about the slope of a line. And actually, you're going to find in many books they are using the variable m as a symbol for the slope of a line. So if I have a line like this one, and I'm asking or someone asking me to find uh, the slope of this line. Usually to find the slope of the line, that means I need to study the rise and the run. Why we call it rise and run? Rise because it's going up and down and run because it's going right and left. So anything horizontal, we call it run. Anything vertical, we call it rise. So to find the slope of line, that means someone is going up on this line. If someone asks me what is the slope, right away I'm going to say the slope, which is m, equal rise over run. But how we can relate this to a graph? If I have a line and I need to calculate the, 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 the slope of this uh, line. Actually, any line needs two points. So if I need to draw a line on this graph, let's say I'm going to choose this point and I'm going to choose this point. So this point, if I locate it on this graph, it means two, three. And let's say I'm going to call it A. And this line, if I count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So that means this point, by chance, it's 11, 11. Excellent. Now, if I draw a line with this way, and this line... It's going from point A to point B. And actually, I can extend it if I want. But at least it's passing through this line. With this way, I'm going to try to make it exactly passing through the point B. And here, I'm going to make sure that it's passing through point A. And no problem to extend it. And now, I need to have the slope of this line. Right away, to have the slope, I have to relate it to this formula that it's saying m equal rise of run, uh, over run. Now, how to make it with the drawing or with the graph? The rise here, it can be the difference of the y of the point A and B. So let's say I'm going to call point A 1 and point B 2. So that means the y of point 2 minus the y of the point 1, it will give me the amount of the rise. And the x of point 2 minus the x of point 1, it will give me the difference or the run uh, between the two points. So let's do it now. y2, it means the y of the b, it will be 11, minus the y of 1, which means the y of a, which is 3, over the x of b, which is x of 2, 11, minus the x of 1, which is x of a, 2. That means 8 over 9. And this, it would going to give me the value of the slope of this line. And something very, very important that you need to know, that if I have a line and it's going up, Let's say I have a man, and this man is going from point 1 to point 2. So this man is going up. When it's going up, you will see right away that the sign of the slope is positive. What about if my line is passing through two points, and these two points, it's A, as you see here, and let's say there is a point C. This point C, where exactly? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So negative 9. And 
the y, if this is 11, that means one step down, that means 10. And let's say I have this line. It's passing from point C to point A. I'm going to adjust only the line to make sure that it's passing through these two points. And I need to check the slope of this line. So to check the slope, I'm going to use exactly the same thing, saying that the slope equal the difference of y. So here I can say uh, y a minus the y of c over x of a minus the x of c. So the y coordinate of a is 3 minus the y coordinate of c is 10 over the, the x coordinate of a which means is 2 minus the x coordinate of c is negative 9. So now you can see here 3 minus 10 equal negative 7 over 2 and don't forget negative and negative will bring me positive that means 2 plus 9 equal 11. So at the end I have the value negative 7 over 11. Why it's negative? Because the, the line is going down. So if I have a man going from point C to A, he is going down. As soon as you see something like that and the line is going down, right away the slope has to be negative. So let's take a small uh, example here. It's saying A, 3, 2, and B, 7, 1. Actually, there is two options. Some people, they are comfortable to draw it on the graph, but some people, they don't need to draw it on the graph. They can say, I'm going to use the formula of the slope. It's the difference of y over the difference of x, or we can say rise over run. So y2 is going to be 1 minus y1 is going to be 2 over x2 is 7 minus x1 is 3. 1 minus 2 equal negative 1. 7 minus 3 equal 4. As soon as I see something like that, I'm going to say the slope is negative. That's for sure, for sure the line is going like that. How to prove it? I can draw quickly the graph and I can say 0 0.32, 0.32, it's here. So this is point A. And point B is 7, 1. So 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 1. So the line is going down from this point to this point if I extend it, the line is going down. So by saying that the slope is negative, it's correct. Let's check the other one. Without doing the graph, I can calculate only by saying the difference of y over the difference of x. So y2 is negative 5 minus y1 is negative 3 over x2 it's negative 2 minus x1 it's 7 so now five, negative 5 and don't forget this will bring me positive so negative 5 and positive 3 that means negative 2 over negative 2 over uh, and negative 7 that means negative 9 I have negative and negative they cancel each other that means 2 over 9 that means my slope is positive now I need to check if my calculation is correct where are these two points? So I'm going to try to make this drawing a little bit larger so we can see the two points. So I have G7, negative 3. So 7, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, negative 3, 1, 2, 3. So G, it's here. And what about H? H is negative 2, negative 5. Negative 2, negative 5. 1, 2, 3. 4, 5. So here I have H. So if I, I draw a line from this point to this point, 
you see here right away, if I extend that, the line is going up and therefore the slope is positive. So I hope you understood the meaning of slope, the formula of the slope, and the sign of the slope if it's positive or negative. Thank you for listening.